Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about sealers. So this is a question I get a lot on how I seal my containers and what I would recommend. So if any of you have seen my videos in the past, I have used polycrylic and I've used that since the beginning, uh, since I started making these concrete candles. And I never really had any issues with me personally. Um, I do recognize that a lot of people did want a sealer that was specifically recommended or used for concrete. So what I went ahead and did is I did some research and I purchased a sealer to try myself. Any supplies or anything I'm going to recommend to all of you, I want to try myself and I wouldn't recommend anything I wouldn't use myself. So I went ahead and purchased Earth Save Sealer. This is a sealer that I've been getting a lot of good reviews and seeing a lot of good reviews on. So I wanted to try it out for myself and share it with all of you. So this is the Earth Safe finish here. It's made in the US, no heavy metals, non-toxic, and it doesn't get off, give off like a really strong aroma either when you're applying it, which is really nice. So in this video, I'm gonna go over how I used it. I'm also gonna pour a candle in that container and burn it, so that way all of you can see for yourself how well uh, the Earth Safe Finish does. Now, if you're new to my channel, my name is Kayla. I do videos all about concrete, candles, and crafts. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the new videos I post in the future. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. I'm really excited to try out this new sealer and show you guys how it worked. I always use these sponge brushes. I get them right off Amazon um, and they work perfectly. And you're gonna want a container. I have this new container. I absolutely love it. It's this bubble container, uh, but you can use any concrete container. So on this one, I don't seal the outside. I'm only gonna be sealing the inside and the bottom. I do have this old container that kind of got a little bit scuffed up, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this as an example to see how the sealer acts on the outside of a container. First things first, make sure you're shaking your sealer very well before applying. And as I said before, I'm just doing the inside and the bottom. I always seal every single container on the bottom. I just feel like it looks better and it helps any scratching. I do put felt bottoms on the bottom of my containers as well. All right, so this one, um, I'm going to be sealing all of it uh, so we can kind of get an idea of how the sealer looks and feels on the outside of the containers. So one thing I did notice while I was applying this sealer is it is a little bit thicker than what I was used to. So it did take a minute to make sure that there was not really a lot of that white residue left over. You wanna make sure it's a nice thin layer and not super thick. So as you can see, it's already dry. Um, it only took about five minutes, which was really nice. And it feels really nice and smooth. So we're gonna go ahead and do the inside of this container. And I am going to be doing three coats on my candle containers. Um, as you can see there, I actually got some on the top and I wasn't going to apply it there and it wiped off very easily uh, with no residue left behind, which I really love. So again, just trying to get all of the white um, extra layers off. I just want one solid thin layer. So we're gonna do the outside of this oval. And I did notice it doesn't take a lot, um, but it doesn't spread really easily. So what I would recommend is just a little bit at a time. Um, so that way you're not getting too much on your brush and causing more of a thicker uh, layer or line on your item. All right, so as you can see, it is still a little wet in there, so we're going to let that dry an extra minute, but we're gonna go ahead and do the bottom of this oval. Mm -hmm. 
and it's already pretty dry and it feels awesome. All right, so the inside of that is still a little wet, so we're gonna go ahead and do the inside of this oval for the second time. So it was a little bit easier. I noticed uh, the second layer going on after the first layer was applied. So as you can see, this first uh, layer is now dry. So we're gonna go ahead and do our second layer of the cylinder here. And again, just trying to get all of that extra white off. And I am scraping my brush on the container to kind of help get that off. So that's the second layer. As you can see, it's all dry now. And I'm going to apply a third layer to kind of give you a time frame of how long I am waiting in between layers. I am waiting anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. Um, it is drying in about 10 minutes, but I did want to give it a little bit of extra time. Uh, so I was working on some other stuff while that was drying. And again, this third coat even easier going on than the second. So once you get all of the sealer out of the creases and you have everything covered on that third layer, I would highly recommend waiting for a good 24 hours before pouring a candle. Now, this is the outside of the oval. It's all dry. Um, it feels great. It is a little shiny uh, for my taste. However, I do like how it's scratch proof. I'm literally sitting here trying to scratch it with my nails and it's not making any mark. No fingerprints, um, nothing. So that is awesome. So as I said before, please wait at least 24 hours uh, before pouring. You wanna make sure your sealer is completely dry uh, before adding anything into your container. Uh, that way the sealer doesn't seep into the candle or planter or whatever you're putting into your container. So here I am pouring slowly. If you want a video on how to make candles, I will put that in the description box below and tag it in the video here. And I always use this little popsicle stick and just to keep the wick straight up. So as you can see, there's no bubbles coming up. The sealer's not leaking into the candle um, and everything is staying where it's supposed to be. All right, and this is the finished product here. Um, I love how it came out. The, the candle is secure to the container. If you see some posts, um, candle makers will say that their candle is pulling away from their container, and I'm not experiencing that with the sealer at all. And then you're gonna trim your wick. Um, a side note, if you keep your extra wick, you can buy the little base separately um, and use needle nose pliers and create your own wick. So double wick for one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and light this baby here. And I burned this candle and it burned beautifully. Um, this is the first burn. As you can see, the sides that the wax is perfect and the sealer is actually not going into the wax. It is still on there after burning for quite some time. After the candle burned all the way down, it was perfect and good to go. Okay, so that was my video on the earth safe finish. As all of you saw, it performed very well. I would highly recommend this finish and I'll put the link in the description box below for all of you. Now, as far as what I personally really liked about it, I loved that it dried fast um, because I make a lot of candles during the day and I love that it was able to dry fast so we could do multiple coats. Um, because I am doing three coats, uh, so I would recommend at least doing more than one. Um, I'm personally doing three, but it was really nice to have it dry quicker so that way I could apply the coats faster. The other thing I really liked about it is it also made it scratch proof. Um, now, I wasn't a huge fan of the glossy look on the outside, to be honest. However, on some of these candles, they are really easily scratched or if you put like your fingers on them, you can get fingerprints. So it was really nice to have that option 
to not have it scratched or really just have the outside protected. So one tip for all of you, if you have a candle store, what you could offer is you could offer a finished or unfinished look on the outside of your candles. And the third thing I really liked about it is it just went on really well. Uh, it was really smooth, it wasn't hard to do, and you can use a, a little sponge as well if you'd rather than a brush. Um, I personally just like the brushes. And the third thing I really liked about it is it just went on really well. Uh, it was really smooth, it wasn't hard to do, and you can use a, a little sponge as well if you'd rather than a brush. Um, I personally just like the brushes. So all in all, I would highly recommend this Earth Day finish. It's really great. Um, and it's actually not that expensive either. It is a little bit more than the sealer I was using previously. However, it does have free shipping, which I thought was awesome. Um, and it does go a long way. So when I was applying this, as you heard me say in the video, uh, I only needed to use a little bit. So this is definitely going to last a long time. And this one is only the eight ounce. Um, so, and I believe it was 20 something dollars, 23, $24. So, I would highly recommend this, especially if you're starting off. Um, I always say to do your own testing. So even though you can see in the video it did well for me, I always say do your own testing just to make sure that the wax you're using, the fragrance you're using, the wick you're using, the, the container you made, it's all variables. So everyone's going to have a different handle, so make sure you do your own testing. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. I hope this was helpful. I know this is a topic that a lot of people were waiting for me to make a video on, so thank you for being patient. I really wanted to find a good sealer to recommend to all of you, because I know that was a big question that all of you had. If you haven't already, hit that like button so that way I know these videos are helpful and that you want to see more of them. If you have any questions at all, please post them in the comment box below and I will get back to all of you. Thank you again for watching and I hope to see all of you in the next video.